Hey guys, so for the last video of the semester, we will be talking about the intro to photosynthesis, which is one of your main topics in your science classes. Stay tuned. Photosynthesis is the process in which light energy is converted to chemical energy in the form of sugars. In a process driven by light energy, glucose molecules are constructed from water and carbon dioxide. And oxygen is released as a byproduct. The glucose molecules provide organisms with two crucial resources, energy and fixed organic carbon. Energy, the glucose molecules serve as a fuel for cells. Their chemical energy can be harvested through processes like cellular respiration and fermentation, which generate ATP, which is a small energy carrying molecule. Fixed carbon. Carbon from carbon dioxide, also known as inorganic carbon, can be incorporated into organic molecules. As you can see, that is the chemical formula for photosynthesis, in which they convert the carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. The ecological importance of photosynthesis. Photosynthetic organisms include plants, algae, and some bacteria play a key ecological role. They introduce chemical energy and fix carbon into ecosystems by using light to synthesize sugars. Humans and other organisms that can convert the carbon dioxide themselves are called heterotrophs, meaning different feeders. Heterotrophs must get carbon fixed by eating other organisms or their products. Animals, fungi, and many prokaryotes, protists, are heterotrophs. Besides introducing fixed carbon and energy into ecosystems, photosynthesis also affects the makeup of Earth's atmosphere. Most photosynthetic organisms generate oxygen as a byproduct in the advent of photosynthesis over 3 million years ago in bacteria resembling modern cyanobacteria. And just like that, our semester came to an end. But don't be disappointed, we will be seeing you guys at Parkland High. Once again, stay strong, stay safe, stay healthy. Mr. Garcia signing off.